Okay. Now we had finished painting our figure, and I went outside and I dumped it into, excuse me, dumped it, I dipped it into the antiquing solution that I told you about that we used with the cowboy. And you can see by the figure right now what it's done to it. You see how it's it just smoothed those colors over? How it's just, it gave the colors, so, see from the back, look at the, uh, the colors, how it just gives them sort of a calming effect. And that's what that antiquing solution does to the shoes and to the color itself. And look around the face, in other words. You can just see that, you know, what, what it does to it in such a way. And you can see how it just brings the facial features out. And uh, because what it does, it, it doesn't give it that uh, bright look. It, it just gives it a, it sort of calms it down as, as the uh, colors do. Gives it a contrast. And that's the little figure. And he's finished right here. Now, uh, I'll let this dry for 24 hours. I dipped it uh, and let it dry for 24 hours so that it'll be good and dry. And later on, I'll hit it with a couple of coats of this deaf clear wood finish. And uh, that's just to seal it so that it, uh, and even though the bowl and seed oil does seal it, it's good to, to hit it with this clear wood finish so that uh, you can give it kind of a a seal on it so that uh, people handle it, their, their uh, dirt on their hands won't get on it such a way. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but I use the Def Clear Wood Finish. And uh, that's, like I said, as you can see, now let me uh, repeat again this antiquing solution that I use. It's one quart of bowl linseed oil. And you can get that at Lowe's or, or, or Home Depot or whatever. And a half a quart of mineral spirits and you can get the same thing at Lowe's or uh, uh, Home Depot and you take that and you mix it together then you go down to the Hobby Lobby and you get a tube of artist burnt umber oil based paint and it's in the tube size it's in the artist section of uh, the Hobby Lobby and uh, it's burnt umber and you take and you buy that, and you come home, and you mix a half a tube of the burnt umber all base paint. Now, not acrylic, but all base. And you mix that with a quarter bowl of linseed oil and a half a quarter mineral spirits. And that is your solution. You put it in a uh, plastic container. Uh, you can get one at Walmart or something. And you, you just mix that up and put. be sure you have a lid over it. Put a lid over it. And whenever you get through with your uh, carving, just uh, dip it in there. And uh, now, once again, I want to warn you, please get some Playtex Living Gloves. Do not use bare hands when you, you dip these, these figures in because bowl and seed oil, uh, it does have some contaminants in it. So you can go get you some Playtex Living Gloves or whatever and use those to dip it in. And then set this thing aside for at least 24 hours, let it dry. And you see the calming effect that it gives to this, this piece. It doesn't even look like the same piece at times. And uh, then you wipe it off a little bit with some uh, uh, paper towels or whatever. And you take, be sure now, I want to warn you once again, and I'll keep doing this, that bowl and seed oil is extremely flammable. So please don't put, take those paper towels. I, I always wet them and then uh, 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 sort of put them aside by themselves in places with not extreme heat so that you can, uh, 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 it can dry out and everything like that. So that's our figure, and that's what we do here. And uh, I, I tell you, I've enjoyed you tuning in and, and uh, that us doing this little figure. But uh, as you can see, we've antiqued it now. And later I'm going to hit it with two, uh, uh, two coats of the uh, clear wood finish, the deaf clear wood finish. And that's just to keep anybody from fool that fools with the figure that they're, you know, the, the, the dirt on their hands won't uh, get on the figure. So uh, this is him, and we're through with him, and I appreciate you uh, being part of this, uh, this figure and carving it and painting it. And uh, uh, we've got a lot of other projects uh, planned, but uh, uh, I appreciate everyone that has written and, and asked uh, certain questions. I know I can't answer them all, 
but remember woodcarvingillustrated.com go there and uh, talk to the uh, on the message board get with uh, wood carving magazine and uh, get you a, a subscription to that and we'll keep doing more projects and I sure appreciate you being a part of this and uh, God bless you now and thank you for tuning in